Bonjour, dear friends. If you've been following my Persian adventures, you know I've covered the City of Light extensively, from delectable eats to off-the-beaten-path adventures. But today's video is something special. It's for those of you who have asked, what are the absolute must-see places for a first-time visit to Paris? For all my seasoned viewers, welcome back. You've witnessed the charm of Paris through various lenses on this channel. But this one's tailored for the first-timers, the explorers with limited time craving a snapshot of Parisian magic. So, to our new friends joining us today, bienvenue on Paris Top Tips. If you want to delve deeper into the Parisian experience, feel free to explore my extensive library of videos after this one. Without further ado, let's dive into the heart of Paris, uncovering the top 10 sites that should be on every first-timer's checklist. Ready for a swift journey? Let's get started! At number 10, welcome to the breathtaking beauty of Sainte Chapelle, a jewel nestled within the heart of Paris. This architectural marvel stands as a testament to Gothic grandeur, adorned with towering stained glass windows that bathe the interior in a kaleidoscope of ever changing colors. Built in the 13th century, Sainte Chapelle was commissioned by King Louis IX to house Christianity's most precious relics, including Jesus' crown of thorns. As sunlight streams through the striking stained glass, it paints an ever-changing masterpiece on the stone walls, creating an awe-inspiring atmosphere for visitors. Here's a cool fact. Back in a day during the French Revolution, some folks thought about tearing down Sainte Chapelle. But luckily, it survived and now stands as a strong symbol of history. When you visit, you're not just looking at beautiful windows. You're stepping into a spot that was already there five centuries before the American independence. At number 9, let's venture to the vibrant Centre Pompidou. This modern marvel is a stark contrast to the historical gems of Paris. Built inside out, with colorful pipes and escalators on the outside, it's like a giant playground for art lovers. Designed in the 1970s, Centre Pompidou houses a treasure trove of contemporary art, from wild sculptures to mind-bending paintings. Fun fact, when this museum first opened, Parisians were a bit unsure about its quirky design. But over time, it became a beloved icon of modern art. So, as you explore Centre Pompidou, you're not just seeing art you're stepping into a place that challenged traditions and became a symbol of the city's creative spirit. And here's a treat for you. Head up to the last level where you'll be rewarded with a breathtaking view of Paris, making you visit a perfect blend of art and awe-inspiring scenery. At number 8, let's drift along the enchanting Seine River. Known as the most beautiful avenue of Paris, this iconic river weaves through the city, 
offering a unique perspective of its timeless beauty. A leisurely cruise along the Seine is a must that will unveil the magic of Parisian architecture. See the Eiffel Tower winking from afar and charming bridges guiding your journey. Did you know? The Seine River has been a witness to centuries of history and tales of romance. As you gently glide along its waters, imagine being part of a story that spans generations, from ancient trade routes to modern day love stories. So when in Paris, a rendezvous with the Seine is not just a boat ride, it's a voyage through the south of the city. Number seven on our top 10 list is the Opéra Garnier. This architectural masterpiece, unveiled in the late 19th century, stands as a symbol of Parisian elegance and artistic splendor. Ascending its grand marble staircase is like entering a time capsule, whisking you away to the late 19th century when Parisian elegance and artistic splendor knew no bounds. Before you visit the renowned auditorium, take a moment to immerse yourself in the opulence of the Grand Foyer. This breathtaking hall, reminiscent of the splendor of Versailles, boasts intricate mosaics, dazzling chandeliers, and mirrors that reflect the grandeur of an era gone by. It isn't just a hallway, it's a majestic space that invites you to linger and absorb the timeless beauty that surrounds you. The Opéra Garnier's auditorium is a true marvel, a sanctuary of culture adorned with gold leaf and sumptuous velvet. As you stand beneath its magnificent ceiling, you can almost sense the anticipation that has filled the air before countless mesmerizing performances. Here's an interesting fact. The Opéra Garnier isn't just a venue, it's a muse. This grand opera house served as the inspiration for the famous Phantom of the Opera tale. So, as you explore its ornate halls and intricacies, you're not just witnessing history, you're stepping into the enchanting narrative that makes the Opéra Garnier a timeless gem in the heart of Paris. A visit here is an exploration of the city's essence, where artistic legacy meets architectural brilliance. Next on our Parisian adventure, the number six of our list is the Orsay Museum. In French, Musée d'Orsay, housed in a former railway station turned artistic haven. This cultural gem bridges the gap between the artistry of the past and the present, showcasing a remarkable collection of masterpieces from the mid-19th to early 20th centuries. As you wander through the spacious halls, prepare to be captivated by the works of renowned artists like Monet, Van Gogh and Degas. The Orsay seamlessly combines the charm of its historic setting with the awe-inspiring creativity of the Impressionist and Post-Impressionist movements. Did you know, the Orsay's top floor clock isn't just a timekeeper, it offers a unique panorama of Paris. Peel through its giant clock face and you'll witness the Seine River, the Louvre and the city skyline, creating a breathtaking connection between the museum artworks and the very landscape that inspired them. So, when you step into the Orsay Museum, it's not just an art gallery visit, it's a time-traveling exploration immersing you in the cultural tapestry that defines the heart of Paris. Number five, our journey leads us to the majestic Palace of Versailles, a mind-blowing historic marvel, one of France's most opulent jewels. Built by the Sun King, Louis XIV, 
This grand palace is a masterpiece of baroque architecture and lush gardens, encompassing the essence of absolute monarchy. A visit to this grand estate allows you to envision the queen preparing for her day, the king immersed in a book, or guests having a lively party within the extravagant Hall of Mirrors. The grandeur of the palace extends to the meticulously manicured gardens, designed by André Le Nôtre, inviting you to wander through ornate fountains and perfectly landscaped greenery. Did you know? Beyond its ornate architecture and lavish gardens, Versailles has been a silent spectator to the turning points of history. From the grandeur of Louis XIV's reign to the Treaty of Versailles that marked the conclusion of World War I. A stroll through the Palace of Versailles is, without a doubt, a stroll through a beautifully preserved chapter of history. Our journey now takes us to the iconic Sacré-Cœur Basilica and the Bohemian charm of Montmartre. They are number 4 on our top 10 list of sites to visit. Perched atop the highest point in Paris, the Sacré-Cœur is a beacon of serenity and architectural elegance. This wide-domed basilica offers panoramic views of the city, creating a breathtaking backdrop to the cobblestone streets and artistic spirit of Montmartre. Wandering through Montmartre, you'll find a haven for artists, bustling cafes, and a lively atmosphere. The Basilica, with its stunning mosaics and its serene interior, stands in contrast to the vibrant street scenes below. The Sacré-Cœur was completed in 1914, and its consecrated mosaics depict various scenes from the life of Christ. Montmartre, once a hub for struggling artists, continues to exude a creative energy that's palpable as you explore its narrow streets and charming squares. So as you ascend the steps to the Sacré-Cœur and explore the enchanting streets of Montmartre, you're not just experiencing a religious landmark and a bohemian neighborhood, you're immersing yourself in the vibrant style of Paris. Our exploration now leads us to the iconic Arc de Triomphe, number three on our list, standing proudly at the top of Champs-Élysées. This monumental arch, commissioned by Napoleon after his victory at Austerlitz, is a testament to military triumph and French national pride. Did you know that the Arc de Triomphe is adorned with intricate reliefs and sculptures that tell the story of France's military history? Beneath the arch lies the tomb of the unknown soldier, a poignant tribute to those who sacrificed their lives during World War I. Ascending to the top offers a panoramic view of the City of Light. It offers clearly the most beautiful view on the Eiffel Tower. The Champs-Élysées stretches below the Arc de Triomphe like a majestic boulevard. Its iconic avenue lines with theaters, cafes and luxury shops radiates the vibrancy of Parisian life. Here, you are immersing yourself in the heartbeat of French pride and elegance, experiencing firsthand why the French proudly dub it as the most beautiful avenue in the world. Our 
Our journey now brings us to the pinnacle of Parisian splendor, the iconic Eiffel Tower, Tour Eiffel in French, claiming its spot as the second must-see destination in our list. Piercing the sky with its route iron elegance, this architectural marvel by Gustave Eiffel stands as a symbol of innovation and timeless beauty. As you ascend the tower, the panoramic views of Paris unfold, revealing a city that effortlessly blends history with modernity. Each level offers a unique perspective, from the Seine River winding through the city to the intricate lattice of streets below. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower was constructed as the entrance arch for the 1889 World's Fair? A temporary exhibit that has since become an enduring symbol of France. As we transition to the top ranking side in our top 10 list, the collective memory echoes with the poignant image from April 2019, when Notre Dame de Paris, the city's most visited monument, endured a devastating fire. Following an extraordinary collective endeavor and a dedicated five-year reconstruction effort, Notre Dame is set to undergo a renaissance, with its grand inauguration scheduled for December the 8th, 2024. While Notre Dame may not secure a spot on our top 10 list in 2024, its impending restoration ensures that it will reclaim its rightful place in the list come 2025. And now, we culminate our top 10 journey with the grand finale, the Louvre Museum, Le Musée du Louvre in French. Securing the top spot, the Louvre stands as a testament to the pinnacle of art, history and cultural richness. As the world's largest art museum, this historic institution is home to an unparalleled collection that spans millennia. Wandering through the hallowed halls, you'll encounter masterpieces like the Mona Lisa, the Venus de Milo, and the iconic Winged Victory of Samothrace. Each artifact, painting, and sculpture tells a story, weaving a tapestry that connects the past to the present. An interesting fact, the Louvre was initially built as a fortress in the late 12th century before transforming into a royal palace and eventually evolving into the magnificent museum we know today. Its glass pyramid entrance, a modern contrast to the historic architecture, has become an iconic symbol of the Louvre. So, as you stand before the Louvre, you're not just in a museum, you're at the heart of human creativity, surrounded by the collective masterpieces that have defined our shared history. In conclusion, our journey through Paris' top 10 sites has been a glimpse into the enchantment awaiting first-time visitors. Whether you're drawn to the historic grandeur of Notre Dame, the panoramic views from the Sacré-Cœur or the timeless elegance of Champs-Élysées. Paris, with its enduring spirit, invites you to explore, discover and immerse yourself in the magic that defines the City of Light.